This morning, it suddenly struck me. What's happening on social media, what I am watching going on on social media, is yet another harbinger of our coming civil war. Let me explain. I woke up this morning, usual routine, made myself breakfast, coffee, orange juice, something to eat, sat down at the table, put my phone on the stand, checked a couple of things I usually check, and then I went to Facebook. And the first post that popped up was from a, a friend, uh, I guess about of 12 years. Actually, this friend was one of the people who got me to join Facebook back in 2008. She's been a member since 2005. And there was this long message how she had just had it with Facebook and she was switching over to, uh, to Parler, Parlay, however it's pronounced. And me, we, I think is the, the other one. And I thought, well, that's interesting. You know, I've already switched to Parlay. I tried to get into MeWe yesterday and it, it's not recognizing my phone number. So I tried again today on the computer and used my email address and I got in as well. And then, as I usually do, I picked up a book, sat down to read and relax a little bit after, after breakfast. And I'm reading uh, Ron Chernow's uh, biography of Grant. It's like a thousand pages. But it's, it's pretty good. I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, Ron Chernow. Grant. Great book. And I'm at the point where he's in Galena, Illinois. The southern states are leaving the Union and the country's headed into civil war. And he's heading to Springfield looking for a colonelcy in an Illinois volunteer regiment. And it suddenly hit me that the two threads, when I'm reading about Grant and what I had read in this uh, Facebook post in the morning, sort of came together. And I realized that what I've been watching on social media for quite a while now is secession, political secession. Now we don't have, you're not talking here about states leaving the union. We're here talking about individuals, right-leaning, conservative-leaning individuals leaving social media. And if you think of social media, you think of Facebook. I mean, Facebook's, I don't know how long it's been around. I've been 12 years. It's sort of like uh, it was an institution, a national institution, which pulled people together. I mean, I, I, keep, I this, this person in question, I don't think I've seen her in 10 years, but we used to work together. I knew her. And so, you know, we follow each other on Facebook. Uh, people from my high school, some of which I hadn't seen in 50 years, you know, follow on Facebook. It, it's sort of an institution that would, you know, initially pull people together. But it's at the point now because of politics, not of its individual politics of its members, but the politics of the people running it who are, you know, suppressing free speech, censoring, shutting people down, banning people. And, and I've got nailed on Twitter. Facebook's been pretty bad, too. But people are, are seceding. <laughs> They're walking away. They're leaving. Now, I'm not saying it's a mass exodus. I don't really know what the exodus is. Uh, the same thing's happening with Fox News. That Fox News' ratings are plummeting. You know, uh, e even even uh, Tucker Carlson, who was not that long ago setting cable news records for viewership, you know, now he's down like number eleven or number twelve. But and, and Fox News has fewer viewers, fewer viewers last week than CNN. I mean, this, this is. They were used to like multiple times what CNN was doing, and now they're losing it too. And what we're seeing is a, a total secession gradually happening from people on the right from national institutions. They're just they're just pulling out. And I think what we're seeing on social media is is a dangerous sign. It's a harbinger of civil war. That this institution that once unified people and brought people together is now dividing people and pushing them apart to the extent that they're looking for new institutions to move to. That's why Parlay exists. That's why MeWe exists. And probably other ones will start popping up. I heard somebody last night talking about getting investors together to set up a new cable news channel. They were going to call it Trump TV. Now, I don't know. I, I don't think I wouldn't recommend that they call it that because, you know, if you're going to last a long time, you should have a better name than that. I mean, Trump's not going to be around forever. But the whole idea of what's happening is you're seeing this happening as a result of this election, or you could see the election 
and the problems with it are accelerating this process. So I think what we're seeing on social media, and if you look at social media as an institution, we're seeing people seceding from it. They're pulling out, they're withdrawing. And I think that's a really bad sign. That's a harbinger of yet another harbinger, I should say, of where we're headed, which is, I believe, civil war. What do you think? Let me know in a comment. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, a thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Share the video with your friends. See what they think. And until the next time, remember to hang in there. Uh, you know, it took over a month for uh, Gore v. Bush. So we've got a long way to go. In the interim, keep fighting.